When I come back in a few minutes, we'll talk about how low the snow level is, how much rain to expect, and when. Don't go away. We'll be back. We are now one week away from the start of the Olympic Winter Games in Sochi. And in the final run-up, Russia is tightening security. The Olympic Village turned into an absolute fortress there. For the first time, the former head of Homeland Security answers our questions on safety. NBC4's Robert Kovacic sat down with Janet Napolitano, now the head of the U.S. delegation, going to Sochi. Robert. She leaves for the opening ceremony of the 2014 Olympics. Many have long wondered if allowing Russia to host the Games is a mistake. But Janet Napolitano tells me she will not second guess the IOC's decision, nor the measures that are now in place for protection. We came to this Oakland high rise seeking an answer to the question much of the world is asking Is Sochi safe? The Games will be as secure as they can be made in a world where there are no guarantees. Janet Napolitano, until last year, was the Secretary of Homeland Security, well-versed on the risks in the region. The United States and Russia have a long-standing and complex relationship. In her new role as president of the University of California, Napolitano will lead the official United States presidential delegation. I assume Sochi will be ready. I will be ready. I'm looking forward to going. Sochi, where security concerns could overshadow competition. In just the last 60 days, the country rocked by two deadly blasts and so-called black widows vowing suicide missions. Well, I think you'd be mistaken to call them anything but threats. And that's why Dan Richards Global Rescue is now contracted by the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association to airlift team members from the isolated mountain areas if they're in crisis. And we're working in a place where there's a tremendous amount of security resources that have been allocated to make sure that these games are safe. We told Napolitano about these plans for emergency evacuations. Well, I, I suspect uh, what they're doing is, is being careful uh, and being conservative uh, and uh, being reassuring so that the athletes aren't themselves worried about security in that sense. Do you fear for our participants? Uh, no. Um, I think that uh, Right, as far as I can tell, all reasonable precautions uh, are being taken. I don't want to be Pollyanna about it, but I, I hope not only that nothing actually occurs, uh, but that as the games begin, the, the attention turns to the athletes and their amazing skills. With plans to attend figure skating, ice hockey, and ski jumping events, Napolitano says it should not be the security protocols we remember, but the unforgettable performances. She does admit that unlike previous Olympics, she expects security in Sochi to be a much more visible presence. I'm Robert Kavasic. Chuck. Thank you, Robert. Now to some really surprising numbers. Nearly 150 people have died from the flu 